Welcome back to Fry Minis. I'm Eric, and today we're reviewing WizKids D&D Icons of the Realm Snowbound. All right, so this set of 46 pre-painted miniatures from WizKids, this is their latest set. It's kind of like a uh, Rhyme of the Frost made in 2.0 edition. If you're watching this review right when it's published, uh, it's still not quite released. I'm not sure what's going on with the uh, release schedule for this set. It's weird. Uh, you can get it on Amazon right now of all places. I've got a link in the description. It's an affiliate link. It uh, helps out the channel if you order from there. Uh, but real life stores, local stores, uh, miniature market, other places, they just don't have it right now. Now, if you're watching this in the future, I'm sure it's out and everything's great. Uh, so pick it up. It's kind of cool. Uh, but it's weird. I don't know what's going on. So because it hadn't actually launched, uh, but it was available on Amazon, I picked it up. I only ordered one brick. Usually I get two bricks for a, for a full review. Uh, that way I get almost all the minis, but with just one, we were able to, we still actually had a really good spread. We only had one duplicate. Uh, a brick is eight boxes. Each box contains four minis. Uh, that will be one large or larger, and then three medium or smallers. Uh, and this set actually contains huge minis as well. So it's, uh, it's pretty nice. Julie and I did a live unboxing of this brick. If you missed it, check it out here. It's really fun. We had a great time. And before we jump into the Fry Minis Fantabulous Mini Metric System, uh, I want to give a thank you to my patrons. Patrons, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's your support that makes it possible for me to keep buying these minis to do these reviews for you. So thanks. So if you're not already in the Spud Club and want to consider joining, uh, check us out, patreon.com slash fry minis. And you can also become a new YouTube member. We just got that up and running, $2.99 a month. You get some cool perks. Uh, Patreon, and we've got from uh, $1 tier all the way up to $100. Cool stuff. Check it out. Okay, let's talk review. Okay, a quick reminder on how the system works. We're going to rate each mini on three different metrics. Each metric will have five points possible. A one means this is terrible. A two means it's disappointing. A three means this is perfectly average. This is what I expect from WizKids. A four is, hey, this is better than average. And a five means this is fantastic. We're going to look at the sculpt. Is it detailed? Is it dynamic? Is it durable? We're going to look at the paint job. Is it a quality paint job? Is there variety? Is it intricate? And we're going to consider the overall fun of the mini. Is it creative? Is it clever? Does it have charm? We add up all those points to earn a star rating. That star rating is our overall rating of the mini. Most minis are usually around a three. WizKids is generally pretty stable in their quality. All right, with that in mind, let's take a look at mini number one. The Chardolin Berserker was totally mediocre. The paint job could have been better, but it wasn't terrible. Uh, the sculpt was okay. The fun level was okay. It was fine. Demos Majin is basically exactly what I would expect from WizKids in terms of all metrics here. Uh, totally middle of the road, completely fine. It's cool. The Galvin Majin is totally fine, mediocre. Uh, I do like that he's floating, but that's nothing fancy. And the Hypnos Majin is the worst of all of these. It's so underwhelming in all capacities. Uh, I do like that you can repurpose all these Majin as elves or Triton or something else, I guess. I do like the sculpt of the Skeletal Sentinel. Uh, I don't understand why it's only medium in the book. It's clearly an undead frost giant. I mean, he's holding an anchor. <laughs> I don't know why he's medium, but otherwise it's good. I really like the Dwergar Hammerer. I thought the sculpt was really good, high detail. The paint job was good. Uh, I could use a little more variety and the pose is basically the same. So it's not super fun, but it's still good. I love this Psychic Grey Ooze. I never thought an ooze would be one of my favorite things in the set, but it's got like a kind of a faux sheen to it. It's goopy, gloppy. It's it's great all around. I love the Griffin Hatchling. Really, really great. I wish the paint job was a little bit better. It's small, so I, I understand that it's not going to be too easy to get too much detail, but uh, it was mediocre on the paint job. Otherwise, love it. The Myconid Adult is a great example of a WizKids mini. It's a good sculpt. The paint job is colorful. It could use a little bit better blending kind of thing. And it's fun, but it's not going to knock your socks off. The sculpt of the Bullywog along with just its overall fun factor, very solid. Uh, the paint job definitely could have been improved, but I'm always happy to see more Bullywogs. 
The Dust Method, another great WizKids Mini. Threes across the board, totally average what I would expect from them. Uh, I like the cloud of dust around it. It's, that's neat. The Ice Method, also really, really solid. Uh, the shimmery effect here, uh, there's definitely some sort of metallic sparkle in there, and I think it really, really brings it up. This Cambion, I think, is a lot better than the Descent into Avernus Cambion options. Uh, there's just way more detail, and the paint job is better and less the kind of Crayola red. I like this one a lot. The Cold Light Walker is interesting. It didn't really live up to the artwork in the book, but you could still use this as a cold person, as like climbing gear. You've got options. I really like the sculpt on the gargoyle. Uh, it's got a thickness to it that I really appreciate, but that paint job is just really bad. The Myconid Sprout is fun. You know, it's it's like a little mushroom dog. It's a lot of it's it's cuties, but the paint job is absolutely terrible. It's like purple plastic with a little blue dry brush. Chardolin Pseudo Dragon is fives across the board for me. It's perfectly what it needs to be and it's sitting on like a little book and there's writing on the book too this one is phenomenal i so badly wanted to give the bullywug croaker fives across the board and while the paint job's good it definitely it could have been better so unfortunately not all fives white dragon wormling is fantastic this is what a wormling mini should look like it looks like the dragon uh, scaled down color variety a, a good pose it could be a little more exciting but this is a uh, really good i like this quagoth a lot i know it's got a uh, spores or something on it from rhyme of the frost made it and makes it this crazy color uh, but i think it works great this is a lot of fun Lokatha. I love a good Lokatha, and this is really good. The sculpt is great. The paint is great. Uh, it's fun. I just wish it was a little more exciting. Maybe if it had this little seal with it from the art or something. It was hard giving the Ice Troll only three points for its paint job because where it's detailed, it's very good. Uh, I just, it's all the same gray. I wish it was a little varied. Spitting Mimic has to have the best dry brushing I have ever seen from WizKids. I, I was very, very impressed with the paint job on this. Uh, and it, it's a great sculpt. It's really detailed. The Snow Golem is a big, dopey pile of snow, as you would guess. I like that the blue of the snow is different than the blue of the snowball. I wish there was a little more variety there, but this is a good one. I think the Polar Bear is really good. The paint job definitely lets it down with that unpainted Arviatris type uh, paint job where it's just plastic and wash, but I'm happy to have a standing up bear. It's cool. The axe beak is great. It's so fun. My paint was good, but it had some splotchiness on there. Uh, I wish the sculpt was just a little more energetic. I know in the book art, he's just standing there, but hey. The hill giant is totally fine. Uh, the sculpt is good. The paint job's good. He, he's a little boring, just kind of standing there with his club, but it was fine. Absolutely loved the Warforged Titan. All aspects of it were great. Uh, it's fun, it's big, it's bulky, it's detailed, it's well painted. This is this is a really, really standout mini. I like the Verbeek. I think the sculpt was really well done. Uh, the paint job was mostly good, but there were definitely some blobby areas. And for fun, it's like he's holding a barrel. That's cool, but he's kind of just standing there. Uh, Ravison sculpt was fine uh, i like that she's like running with these swords but this paint job was terrible this one was really really bad my goblin battle wagon ropes were super messed up twisted and bent so i had to fix it with my heat gun here's how you just grab a protective glove heat resistant glove and your heat gun lay it out best you can melt it up as much as you can across the board and then slowly work it in piece by piece melting it so that way you can realign it uh, it's not hard, but just be careful. And once it's fixed, it was really cool. Uh, the paint job was not super exciting, but it's so much fun. This is really good. I wish I came with a goblin, though. All right, so on the right, you can see our star distribution overall. So we're pretty good. I mean, you can see we've got a lot, lots of fours, lots of threes. 
Uh, I think we only had one one star mini and a couple five star mini. So this is pretty well uh, distributed. And our average rating. So this is what what's the quality of each of our metrics. 3.8 with the sculpt. That's really, really good. 3.3 uh, with the paint is, is totally fine. It's a little bit above our average, right? If three is our average. And at fun of 3.7, I like these overall. These are a lot of fun. So that brings our overall snowbound ranking to three and a half stars. All right, so yeah, I like the set. Uh, those are my ratings. Now I'd love to hear your ratings. What uh, what would you give it? What mini do you think I got right? Which mini do you think I got wrong? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And I've got one quick little update for you. Uh, this will be our last Sunday video, at least for a while. I'm going to try moving our video releases to Monday. It seems like we sometimes end up streaming on Sundays and doing a video and a stream on the same day can be a little bit much. Uh, and plus, if anything else, the algorithm tells me Monday mornings at 10 a.m. are the best time for me to upload a video. So who knows? We'll see. Well, if it doesn't work out, we can just go back to what we were doing on Sundays. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.